June 7th, 2017, um, at Bee Hill, and I just came up here to uh, to basically nuke the queen in um, <clears throat> a production colony. Actually, I'm going to do do two of them, and what that means is you just take the queen out, you put her in a smaller um, nucleus colony, a five frame nuke, with uh, some some bees, blah blah blah, and leave the original hive queenless. Okay, what happens is they have an inordinate amount of bees uh, and can make a new queen very easy, a real healthy one. So uh, I've gone ahead and done that on the flow hive. Um, you know, our, speaking of flow, our flow is coming down to a trickle right now, um, which you'll see here. Uh, as it continues to rain, it makes it impossible for the bees to go out and forage. Um, it's good to have rain, but this is typically when it slows down. So they're they're a bit defensive, and um, that's why I'm in a full jacket and veil. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what I've done and uh, how far they've gotten with the uh, flow hive. There's obviously something in there, right? That's my queen clip, and zoom in here. And there's a queen in there, I promise. Uh, that's a queen from 2017, spring of this year, um, and uh, she came from a yard about uh, an hour north of, of here in Ponte Vedra. Uh, okay, so her colony is Flow Hive, um, which, is, which is this one, and right now they're cleaning off some comb that... Uh, it just kind of broke off. Uh, I just put it in front of their, their house. So um, I've removed the queen excluder because there is no queen in there right now. You're going to have to make a new one, which they will do successfully because it's loaded with bees. And I've done my due diligence to populate the area with drones. And let's go take a look here at what we got. So, aha! Zoom in. Flow hive action. Okay. Um, now that there's no queen excluder, all of these bees are going to end up um, loading up the, uh, the flow super with honey. And, you know, once they get all these things right here drawn out, these frames, uh, then it's going to be a lot easier for them to just fill it out every time. And this big colony, big mamma jamma, I'm gonna do something similar. I'm gonna nuke this queen and let them make a new one and we're just gonna pull pull all the honey that's in there. All right, that's, that's it for now. Um, so I'm gonna nuke these queens and we're just gonna get, get divides off of this stuff. Um, yep, everybody's a little agitated today. Don't blame them. Do not blame them in the least bit. So. Okay. Time to go to work. Okay, now I'm gonna check uh, the Frankenstein colony, the double queen colony, which is a ridiculous amount of bees in here. Okay, went ahead and pulled the middle frame here um, in this super, and looks good. See, they, I'm not gonna really keep them open for long because this colony's got a lot of older bees in it right now and uh whoo a lot of them so and they're kind of kind of happy to not have me around basically don't blame them Do not blame them it's overcast today and uh you know when the weather's not good everybody kind of 
he's in a grumpy mood. So, okay, looks good. I'm just gonna assume the queens are in there. <laughs> um, I have to mess with this at uh, another time. Looking like they're filling it out though, up top here. Shouldn't be long before I pull all 10 of these down and extract the honey. What do we have here? Found some delicious portobello mushrooms just growing in the wild. Just kidding. Look at that. That would probably kill me if I ate it. <laughs> um, not for nothing. This is an oleander and it's about as bad for you as a poisonous mushroom too. Pretty stuff though. Too bad bees don't get any uh, nectar from this. It's pretty much just a pollen pollen plant. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Ta dang Yeah. Okay. 